Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, lovely people. I hope you're all doing well. So wonderful to be here with you again. Please give us a thumbs up if you can see us or hear us. Thank you. I can hear you too. Although I can't hear you, you can hear me. That's right. <laughs> it's great to be here with you all. We uh, drove back home from Northern California. We got here last night. We so if you see a little bit of a puffiness around my eyes, it's because we yeah. got home late. But it's Ooh. wonderful to see you. And we're going to do hello, everyone. Hey, Susan. Hey, um, Deim from Netherlands. I hope I said that right. Bijan from England. It's so good to see you. Eddie, Cindy. It's wonderful to be here with you all. How are you all doing? I hope you had a good Saturday and you're having a good Sunday, depending on which part of the world you're at. We're having a great day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all of you. It's, uh, yeah, to all the fathers, all of you that have fathers, there you all do. And, and yes. um and uh yeah wonderful day and even if you have if you are a you know um dad to a puppy or a dog or a cat or a plant if you guys are <laughs> <laughs> plants thank you for being uh a protector thank you for being a loving person um dads are awesome i kind of find it um you know a bit sad that mother's day is exaggerated but dads are amazing they should be given the same credit and a whole lot of love i'm really grateful for this father who's such an amazing person not just a father but he is a guide a best friend a helper a someone who is actually helping our kids think about recreating their purpose every single minute thank you so much um we we both had amazing fathers as well yes. um and so yeah it's a remembrance to all the fathers um and and the concept of fatherhood and support and guidance it kind of works into this day of habits and coaching and <clears throat> how to build yourself rebuild yourself on a daily basis we think that the most important thing we do here is not nutrition although we can say that probably as far as nutrition is concerned compared to a lot of other courses and a lot of other programs you have a culinary artist, two people who have their masters in nutrition. But more importantly, I think what we we focus on in my work in the last 25 years has been behavior and giving guidance. Yes. Um, so um, I think if there's anything about fatherhood and motherhood, it's guidance, mm. loving, directed, iterative, changing, adapting guidance. Absolutely to bring out the full potential of everybody. And today's topic is habits, but it's more than that. It's coaching, learning, guiding, evolving, changing, adapting, improving, exponentially improving, not the 10,000 steps, but five steps, learn, adapt, change, do. Five steps, learn, change, adapt, do. And, and that's the whole point that it takes a while to change. And uh, yeah, we'll give a talk about that. Amazing. So grab your tea or your cup of coffee. We're having some coffee with some soy milk here <clears throat> and we can talk about habit, which I think habit has to be interjected in and after every aspect of neuro. It should be almost like nutrition habit, exercise habit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, stress management habit, sleep and, habit. And in the program, we do that. I mean, yes, uh, of course. Uh, once every month is a different um, um factor it's a, a nutrition exercise stress management and it's a unique aspect of it but but the totality of neuro but there's always multitude of habit patterns and behaviors that, that are part of that absolutely so it's critical to kind of take that into the consideration absolutely um all right well maybe we'll go, we'll go ahead and talk about it yes. um i know this is the you know the official last day of the challenge so it's a bittersweet moment for us to, you know, know that you are here, but we're going to make it a sweet moment. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> we we want to be connected with you. And you may have seen it on the main page. Um, we actually were going to invite you and you'll all get a formal email about this as well. We have this incredible community called the Neuro Academy where we have interactions such as this one with our lovely community members. Some of them are here as moderators, helping you and guiding you. Bonnie Wacker is one of them. We have Lonnie as and, one and of them. And Lonnie and Bonnie Wacker were from the first group 
that actually went through this they were the, for yes, years. Yes, yes. And they became coaches, they became super coaches, and we have multiple other uh, coaches developing. It's a, there's nothing like this. I mean, I don't want to sound like commercial, but but it's a community that actually empowers on a daily basis. Yeah. So, so we're and, offering that yeah. for you guys, and we would love for you to be in that community with us. And um, I'm not going to do the whole marketing things. You know, the, the list is going to be there, what we offer and what's, what you're going to be expecting. I'm so bad at this. But um, it would be such an amazing opportunity uh, for all of us and for the individuals there to get to know you, to, to live with you, with the community. So the habit part is the most important component. I wanted to say hello yeah. to everybody. Um, uh, we have Bindu and we have Bonnie here and uh, Stephanie and Joshua from Israel. Thank you for joining us again. Um, Paula, you're here. Jenna, great to have you here from Austin, Texas. Uh, Bijan is asking whether that's a Fitbit in your in your wrist. No, no it's, it's an, an Apple, Apple Watch. <laughs> Apple Watch. <laughs> and, a, and a small little bracelet right next to it. So it's, yeah, we, we keep it for our, uh, you know, counting the, the steps every day. Every day. All right. Um, it's important um, uh, for us to kind of speak to the fact that um, we do um, daily habit building. I mean, yes. habit is critical. And not many people focus on habit yet it's the most important i'll give a talk on habit and it's a pretty comprehensive talk and we gave a talk last night in, in Lodi habit, yes. uh, for an hour it was a unique uh, conversation and and i'm kind of proud of it because although the talk ended at nine <laughs> uh, well 8 45 they would they would continually 500 people continually ask questions till like almost 11 30. so we're uh, it's it is the most important part of this and in the community that's what we do um, provide uh, nutritional exercise and everything else but also habit uh, patterns and tools uh, that will help um, sustain change change is the foundation of what we're trying to do small incremental changes systematic changes around your proclivities your tendencies habits are these programs these in, in computer science, they call it macros, these mm. programs that, that run your life without you thinking. Yeah. And they're yeah. powerful. They, they, most people say that they, they, uh, that 60% of your behaviors are habits. Actually, I would say that more than 95% of behaviors are uh, habits. And there are three components of human expression, behavior, emotions, and thoughts. And they're all, for the most part, habits. What happens after a while, we kind of create these patterns that are built on other patterns that are built on other patterns that's what makes it so difficult to change yeah and and they they kind of run our life with the macro programs behind the scene <clears throat> and most of those habits are set early in life yeah and and what happens is the habit patterns and habit loops that are built around everything our thoughts our emotions and our behaviors are not usually functional they are built around our emergency survival situations, which is most of the time. Mm. The habit of eating, it's on the run, under stress, running away from something. The habit of uh, conversing, it's not usually functional. It's the, the um, emergent, winning the moment kind of a habit. Yeah. The, the thought processes, our anxiety-laden thought processes are just for the moment survival. Mm. Remember that behind the scene, that the dominant feature that controls a lot of things is the fight or flight sympathetic system. Mm -hmm. It's the survival system. It's not the cortical frontal lobe thinking system. I'm going to go a little whack or wonky and then come back. So those survival systems, especially when you're younger, especially when you're teenagers or earlier, are the things that drive the patterns of stimulus, behavior, reward. There's somebody who's agitating you. That's the stimulus or trigger. Your behavior could be one of thoughtfulness and circumspect behavior that takes the moment, takes the person into consideration, your own strengths, your own weaknesses, your language. But as a teenager, what you have available for you is the fight or flight. Either you run away or fight. And it might actually mitigate that moment. It might actually allay the initial stress, but it has set that, and, and that getting away from that anxiety is the reward. But what it, what it did was create a pattern of bad stimulus behavior reward. Mm -hmm. When it comes to food, food is usually escape. There's stress, there's anxiety, there's this discomfort. What's an easy comfort? Sugar, the toxin, the, 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 
the um, addictive, the most addictive drug, sugar. Mm. You go to the fridge, get the cake, get the sugar, get the candy bar, or the fat. Mm. Get. I remember the uh, um, uh, the meat sticks, the beef jerkies, um, uh, the, the 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 fatty food, the thing that just is driving your survival. Remember, those are high energy things that don't care about your long term state. Yeah. They care about your immediate. So that was your response, the immediate quick response. And that created the stimulus, behavior, reward. So most of our rewards were unhealthy yeah. foods. Mm -hmm. Most of our, our rewards were aggressive language, aggressive thoughts, or hurtful thoughts, mm -hmm. or running away by actually putting title on somebody or something mm -hmm. and running away, or literally physically walking away from something. Yes. Those were our patterns. And if you think about it, it's a little scary a great deal of our behaviors are in those kind of stimulus behavior reward mechanisms and and they're tough because once they're set it's like walking through this wall of snow yeah. because it could took you a while tracks. yeah it took you a while to create that track mm. and the track and the snow keeps building and the track that you're laying down is clean because that's where you're walking but the snow which is all the reward systems of the throughout your life builds up calcified so, habits almost. calcified nobody, habits. nobody wants to break through and walk into the snow to create a new path it's and it's difficult tough. it's extremely it's difficult difficult. and the other reason it's difficult because change is tenuous mm -hmm. change is unknown it's the future what i know is what i know that's why people all of us have certain patterns patterns that are not all of our behaviors but some are so dysfunctional yet we repeat them yeah. why mm -hmm. because the thing that i know I'm, I know, I know it hasn't killed me. I'm still here. I'm going to go at it again, hoping almost like wishful thinking, magical thinking that's going to change that this functional conversation that you keep having in, in your Thanksgiving gathering with that one cousin, you know, it's not going to get anywhere, but you keep throwing in there with the hopes of change. <laughs> Speaking from experience. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just saying in general with your mom, with your dad, with your sister, with your right, brother, with right. your cousin, yeah. we have those. Why? Because it's a known, it's a known that you hope for change magically. The unknown is difficult because there's 360 degrees of unknown most of the time. It's actually not. Mm -hmm. We have a frontal lobe that gives us the tools to manage and, and cajole and, and change and alter. And that's that's important. And in the program, we talk about this regularly because without that, it's another course. By the way, we have, unlike most other programs, we have a, multiple courses and we add three we had a course every three months and these are massive courses with CMEs and CEs and certificates and from coaching courses and um, neuro course where you actually get a certificate yeah. neuro course and right. coaching and the ultimate cooking course, which is coming up very soon in, in, a, in a couple of months. Um, so all these courses are there uh, that you can get um, uh, with the, with the uh, community. But the behavioral component is important because the path is tenuous. And then the other thing is the perpetual battle of the limbic system, the amygdala, this little organ right here, right? And actually let's open it up. Yeah. Right there. It's actually colored for us. The amygdala. Guess who colored it? You did. You. Oh, I did. I did. I did. This is the one that you colored. So the yeah. purple dots or the blue dots are actually the amygdala. Yes. The amygdala and the frontal lobe, the prefrontal cortex, the perpetual battle. Yes, the prefrontal cortex is what makes us unique as human beings. We don't have the biggest brain. You should see the elephant's brain. We've done it, we've seen it in UCSD. They actually used to bring whale brains so that with this microscopic incision, come the device, you would cut them and then map it out. Huge brains, eight times the size of a human brain, yet they don't have as complex a frontal lobe. Yet as complex, as incredible as the prefrontal cortex, which is processing, problem solving, planning, all of that stuff, the, this little amygdala is more powerful at the moment. When it gets agitated, it takes over. It's a beast. It takes over. Even the smartest people do the dumbest things. And that's, um, that's what we talk about repeatedly, how to take control of that. Yes, there are a lot of books like um, the uh, Emotional Intelligence and others, but um, I'm, I'm writing, we're writing a book on behavior, which we think is the neuroscience perspective of that completely different perspective. Hopefully, hopefully uh, that will be coming out uh, fairly soon. But the behavioral component is important. Breaking through that snow, 
breaking through this battle, the, the fear of crossing this little ten, you know, thin and tenuous bridge of unknown, the change, it's critical, but it's important. Know a couple of the things. Your sympathetic and parasympathetic systems become aware of them. When you're sweating, when your heart's beating fast, when your pupils are constricting, that's your sympathetic system, your fear, fight or flight system. You can actually relabel it. If you talk to athletes that are really good at what they do, they've literally done that. Mm -hmm. When the, you've, you hear Michael Jordan or some tennis players like um, uh, Bjorn Borg and others, when you talk about them, uh, when you listen to them, they talk about when that happened to them, they labeled it as, oh, here is the challenge. I'm feeling it. I feel good. But others actually go into the negative label, which is this is fear, this is anxiety, this is dangerous, I must walk away. Even if they don't have the language at their tongue, it's in their mind. So it's critical that we acknowledge it and we know it because if we know it, then we can control it. That which you know, at least you have a method, a measure of control. So It, it gets exposed. It gets right. exposed, mm -hmm. beautifully said. Yeah. And then the parasympathetic, which is not as powerful, but it's the rest and restore and reproduce cycle. Rest and digest. And digest. Yeah. If, so this is what happens. When your sympathetic system starts revving in, which is pretty often in the modern world, it was supposed to be there just when the bear and the lion and the tiger came at you. Not that often. <clears throat> but now the things we label, because we develop language, there's a great book about language and its ability to give us greater consciousness, but with it, greater anxiety. Right. Um, when language became so fulminant, it also gave us the ability to take these, these anxieties with us throughout our life. And, and that's a clue as well. And what we do is we start labeling them and this anxiety becomes part of our daily activities. And what happens is the sympathetic system constricts the vessels, heart starts beating fast, the kidneys starting stopping pumping, the reproductive, reproductive system becomes quiescent, your pupils constrict, your blood actually goes to, to your emergency parts of your brain, mm -hmm. not your thinking part, your emergency part, the amygdala, as if it wasn't powerful enough, it takes over. Your, your digestive system stops. You don't care about eating the food at that point. You want all the blood to go to the legs, to the heart, to the amygdala, to run, run away, or get aggressive, the fight or flight. And, and so, and your immune system is actually quite uh, slowed down and stopped and, uh, um, uh, after a couple of uh, hours and uh, to a day or so. So your immune system goes on. That's why people who are in a chronic state of stress, they get shingles. Mm. They get all kinds of viral diseases. They they get cancers at a greater rate. They have heart disease because their their heart's beating fast. The general heart rate low is faster. Immunity. General low immunity, and their thinking processes are affected over a long term. So be aware of it. Relabel it, and take control of that sympathetic system and live in the parasympathetic. And we talk about that quite a bit uh, in our programs. Now let's talk about habits. The thing that drives us on a daily basis we need to read structure label uh, habits and there's habits there's a system of habits there's identity of habits without this only five to twelve percent of people f succeed in changing mm. yeah. in our programs it's much greater because the coaching community is the biggest thing that makes the success yeah by far the biggest mm. factor and this is from study after study that shows that when you have a community, a coaching community, a, 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 um, th then it's much more successful. And what happens is change, which is the cycles of stimulus, behavior, reward, has to be relabeled. Mm -hmm. The good behaviors, the good habits, the bad habits, write them down. You can't start with everything all at once. You start with a few. You start with keystone ones. Mm -hmm. You start with the essential ones. You start with the low hanging ones. I'll give you an example. There's much more to this than that, but you've heard already some of them. That morning walk, or if you can't walk, that morning exercise, or we can't do it in the morning, the afternoon exercise. Adding two greens, the app, the, the NeuroPlan app helps with all this as well because it gives you a score, it gives you a cognitive score. So with this, we actually follow and tell you what those mean over time, how your cognition is changing. And you start with Keystone and then you stack those habits. You build those habits. You create systems around those habits. And without that, you're left with saying, I need to be healthy. Mm -hmm. I need to run the marathon. I need to eat a lot of food. Or where's the superfood of the day? And then we succumb 
to the vitamin concoction on late night TV and others. So that's not going to be that way. There has to be coaches that teach you how to eat healthy, how to create things, how to create habits. And once you do it, at the beginning, it's going to be difficult, a little difficult because not really, because we're the way we do it, we do it small incremental steps, but then it accelerates because once you've established the keystone habits in the first month or so, then you build the next layer. And by the third iteration, fourth iteration, the system is moving at a pace that's never been seen before. Because it's not us doing it, it's you doing it. It's around your proclivities, tendencies, capacities. When they talk about precision medicine, we're not talking about you know P54, P51 uh, gene and epigenetics. We're talking about your personal keystone habits, stacking on those behaviors, those resources, those, uh, those uh, proclivities, and even your families as well. Yeah. And then a lot of our uh, people that have gone through this mm -hmm. have become coaches, not just for themselves, but because it's the certificates there, you can do a coaching thing. Uh, we've created a 40,000 word coaching course yes. that you can get as well in, in a couple of months after you do the neuro. Yeah. And and then you, we develop the focus process and, and, and get it into your own life. So it's critical to kind of start one behavior at a time identify the bad habits that you want to get rid of not all of them that's a very important thing identification of the bad habits yeah um you don't all have to white buy whiteboards no i know that <laughs> working with us you think that it's all about whiteboards now now the thing that's important is that people have to realize we're also talking about mood and emotions quality of life quality of life is driven by two main neurotransmitters i'm really simplifying it because everybody keeps talking about dopamine and serotonin and some of these walk talking heads on social media who have millions of followers keep talking and they don't even know what, what it is, but we've written about dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine has multiple functions. Here's a clue. One of them is movement. The other one is motivation or a movement towards something, actually not the thing in itself, movement towards something. So it's a great motivator. You can actually manage it, move dopamine. That's a small incremental changes. And those small incremental changes that you check off actually create these little nudges of emotion. Yeah. These little nudges of emotion are not just nudges of success. They are what moves the ship of joy, the ship of happiness, the river of serotonin. Serotonin is the long term. I'm simplifying, but the long term emotional state. That's why even the drugs out there, the SSRIs, they say it takes a month before you see something. They're, you know, they're, those are work, those are great, but the small behavioral nudges that we do in the community, the tugboats that push this ocean liner, the ocean liner of emotion, the ocean liner of mood, joy, success, feeling of goodness, that takes lots of little tugs of dopamine, there's these successes, and then you've got a ship that's going in a different direction. That's how you truly manage emotions and mood mm. and depression. Mm. That's how you manage the river of serotonin or the ocean liner of serotonin and change its direction. Not by one movement, right. by one behavior, one great talk, but by small nudges of behavior, the small dopamine surges in one direction under your control, not the ad hoc way that it was created during teenage years. Do you really want to live with your teenage habits? No, we want to have control over our habits. And that's what we do. I think that's the incredibly unique thing we do. We're kind of proud of that and uh, and uh, would love to welcome you into this community of the river of joy, Absolutely. the river of serotonin that's going to change moods and directions. That was beautiful, Dean. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, incredible, incredible. A lot of people are pointing to some books like um tiny habits and atomic habits and yeah. those those books are great i think uh, one element that's that actually gives us the um the idea or some the of the ideas yeah. yeah some yeah. of the ideas they yeah. talk about habits they talk about even um uh, systems and identity but the greater perspective of how do you change these these uh, transmitters and, and small increments and direct change direction that takes community work I agree with you. That takes a, a, an environment that keeps tugging you, moving you. When you make mistakes, you fall, and your lowest denominator is not your baseline. It's the community baseline mm -hmm. that that keeps you moving. That's that's the key thing here. Right. Um, 
for someone, you know, myself, you and I have had multiple conversations about this, and this might be a little bit of a TMI, too much information, but um, for someone who's working constantly to create better habits, being more organized, sometimes I find those kind of language a little uh, um, elitist because there is an assumption in, in some of the language. Yeah. There's an assumption that people may have the resources to be able to take on the next step. How do you deal with that? How do you address that? The numbers, uh, even with those books, I mean, uh, Atomic Habit actually took everything from Tiny Habit. And then that one took one. So it's been there. Those books are there. My favorite, which has nothing to do with habits, but, but creates the foundational thing, was the first one, uh, Stephen Covey's book, Seven Habits. Oh, so oh my goodness, the, what a uh, successful people. Successful and people. then he did it for yeah. teenagers. Our kids actually made a video when they were so cute, when they were young, <laughs> talking about that, you know, uh, sharpening the saw, which is the last one. Yes. Those are all there, they work. But so if they work, I, I have a map of these books sold millions. Yeah. Yet, let's take one variable, weight. Although weight is not a thing, we don't even worry about weight. Yeah. We worry because if you take care of your health, the weight will follow, the energy will Maybe follow. Maybe should address sugar. Sugar, let's say sugar. Why have we not succeeded? In fact, failure rate is more than 95%. Mm -hmm. It's getting worse and worse. Why? Because it doesn't take just that. It takes community. Mm -hmm. It takes a system. It takes a system where you're actually being held accountable, but not in an aggressive way, but in a passive way where you use the background to keep yourself accountable. Mm. And, and then you become a coach and then you take others. And um, we're so proud of our work in the, in the communities. We won the National Academy Award for that. I know that I'm saying that over and over again, but it's just, you know, for all my degrees, that's the most pride. I'm so proud of that. Because one of the first times that a program like this actually, where behavior change at the community level has been touted. And, and, and at the National Academy of Medicine level, and now we're going for other grants uh, for communities that can't afford it. And um, so we're, we're doing that. But in this community, we're going to be living here um, with the cooking sessions. Uh, by the way, we're adding coaching. So for last year, we've been doing cooking sessions. We've been doing Q and A's yes. on a weekly basis, but also we've been doing, uh, we will be adding coaching sessions in a couple of months, right. actually in a month and a half. So coaching sessions for those who want to do coaching, not coaching for other people necessarily, which you will have as well, we'll there'll be certificates, but coaching your family. Right. Your fa when you have these conversations with your family, you're coaching your family. Yeah. <clears throat> so we will uh, be doing coaching seminars where I'll be answering, we'll, we'll be answering questions uh, once a month on that uh, factor. Absolutely. All right, for some of our friends who have joined late, hello. Um, the, the community that Dean was talking about is the Neuro Academy community, um, and we'll put more information on the homepage. We're inviting you all to join us there. It's a community of lovely people that have been with us for a while, and we have the same kind of an environment with conversations, but you'll actually have access to courses, the NeuroPlan courses there. It's an eight hour course with, with certificate and CME and CE, uh, everything. That's correct. And the coaching course is coming and Dean and I are creating the cooking or the nutrition course. The good things about, about that environment is you basically start wherever you are. You're not, you're not forced to read a lot. You can actually pick one item at a time and have a conversation. We'll have polls, suggestions, questions and answers. We invite wonderful authors to come. Like, for example, this month we've invited Dr. Nitu Bajikal, who wrote the book PCOS Free <clears throat> Living, which talks about polycystic ovarian syndrome, hormones and brain health, and hormone therapy. And she's going to be the speaker of the month, and it'll be a live QA with her. So yeah, for you guys, it will be live QA. And then Dr. Alan Desmond. Dr. Alan Desmond the, will be there. Yeah. Uh, we'll have so many different coaches and authors of really incredible books that we're inviting for live sessions. And then when we have Q and um, our podcasts, you will be there to, uh, to for the Q&A session. Yeah. Uh, for the general audience, it won't be there, but for you guys as well. So it's an, a very, uh, so they can go to neuroacademy.com yeah. or there's another way that they can also. I can, I can put the link in the chat <clears throat> and I'll definitely make sure that I put the link in the homepage as well for you all so that you can, um, so that you can, uh, you know, get access to it. So, in any case yeah. so the three elements <clears throat> the three central elements of change is information or science-based and accurate information which we will have courses uh, um, tools everything else resources 
And what are resources? Downloadables, tools, as well as coaches that are real, will be available to you anytime you need um, and that you can talk to that, that will be there um, on the venue. There are questions we can answer on the venue. And um, fairly soon, there will be coaches that will you can actually uh, get for yourself. Yes. And third element is the coaching component and the background that should be living there, which Absolutely. is the, uh, the live conversations as far as <clears throat> the Q&As, the cooking sessions, right. and the coaching sessions. Those will be there um, um, every Friday, or sometimes it will move to Saturdays, depending on what the audience says. But it will be, and then your community of you know hundreds and thousands of people that will be there that are, and some of them are so by now so knowledgeable. Yeah. I mean, they've been with us more than a year or so, and and they're so knowledgeable. Each of them are like coaches. Bonnie and Lonnie. Bonnie and Lonnie are, and, and ju they're just two. This is incredible just two. people. And, and Cassandra yeah. and others, which are incredible uh, people that will be helping us and we'll have more and more coaches. Um, so it's a, a living community of positive change. Absolutely. All right. Wonderful. So let's go ahead and answer some answer questions. questions. Is yes. that okay with you? All right. Perfect. So uh, lots of love, um, lots of best wishes for Father's Day. Um, um, and Elle, Nancy saying thank you for everything that you do for us. Do you provide private sessions? We do. I mean, uh, the brainhealthinstitute.com is coming up soon. It's a clinical model where you can actually see a, 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 a nurse and an assistant that can give you a plan and everything. And then Aisha and I will be seeing patients as well online. We've been already seeing patients from around the world, but not through brainhealthinstitute.com. But we'll be doing that uh, through there as well from any, uh, anywhere in the world. Um, we're trying to make it as a universal. We have some other doctors that are joining us as well, yeah. specifically for sleep and headache and things of that nature. Yeah, so that will be coming uh, within a month or so. But right now, we want this month to kind of focus on this community because w this will be uh, uh, incredibly helpful with the community. By the way, we have to talk about we are not the best salespeople, as you can tell. We we, <laughs> And they say that if people feel discomfort in you, then they're going to feel discomfort in themselves. And that creates, well, I'm sorry, we're, in, we're scientists, but uh, there there is a nominal cost, almost a dollar a day if you do a yearly thing. And, and that's um actually less than that and yeah. and that's so that we can maintain this and as for those of you who know us we have the healthy minds initiative which is a non-for-profit everything we do goes to the com to those efforts to our research the publications we do the communities we work in um so uh, it's not apologetic no no it's not no. apologetic we know that people have to make a living and stuff we have to make a living. but it's but i just want to make sure that people know that this is much bigger than just the, you know the salesmanship thing for us this is a movement. We've done it. We've done it for all our life. We in believe different, in it. We believe in it. Mm -hmm. We just had to make it slightly uh, financially. And and by the way, compared to others, sell a course for seven hundred. We this is much much lower. Yeah. And it's not just one course. It's multiple courses every year, as well as a community, as well as coaches and everything else. And and most of what we do is going to be in the other communities. And those of you that are interested in helping us in our non for profit end. When you become coaches, we would love for you guys to volunteer and help other communities throughout the world. That would be amazing. Um, that's our highest passion. Absolutely. Absolutely. So help us build brain healthy communities. Come and join us. And like Dean said, the cost is essentially there to keep it functional and high quality so that we can reach and connect with you and with more people in the world and spread this message. All right. So let's go ahead and answer another question. This is from Bijan. Hi, Bijan. Thank you for joining us. Okay. I've read the book Atomic Habits, and I'm trying to change my habits into ones that are more productive. However, I find family events take over my time. How can I resolve that? Also, so much to fit in. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, one of the reasons for, for this is that uh, we break it into small parts. We get the system going. We get a background noise of support, the community. We give you the tools when you fall and 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 not guilt and guilt doesn't even make sense doesn't make sense yeah uh, neurologically it doesn't make sense uh blame doesn't make sense it's course correction mm -hmm. what was the impediment what was the success what is the tool needed look, look, look beautiful point you bring in Vishal. so failure is a great thing well massive failure you have to figure out how massive was it mm -hmm. And that's a very common thing. We, we, we talk about this with our kid. Yes. When you take on too big of a leap, it seems like a heroic thing. A heroic thing doesn't work. 
break the behavior to your capacity to make the leap. And then even if those small fail, one, one, smaller steps fail, what was the impediment in your life? The, the fit all programs don't work. Okay, eating this thing is great, but it's not enough. So what was the impediment in your life? What was the tool that was missing? What was the system that needs to be placed to get this one keystone behavior in? Right. We're in a hurry. And what happens is we, in a hurry, fail millions of times over years until it's, we give up. Yeah. Succeed one micro behavior a month. And in a year, you will have achieved more than you will ever have imagined. Yeah. Imagine changing 12 keystone behaviors yes. in a year. Have you done that in the past year? No. So that's that's the key. And 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 identifying it's almost like psych psychoanalysis. We yeah, kind of do that yeah, as well. Of course. We, or you should see our conversations in the <laughs> Q and A's. It's not just you know where do I get you know this source of vitamin B twelve. There's a lot of psychoanalysis and, and breakdown <laughs> as well. So I we, we love that. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Dean. All right, <clears throat> Patricia is asking, um, how long will we be able to? <clears throat> access these videos in the chat feed after today. Um, so we, we wanted to close everything today, just as promised, but we've gotten a lot of requests from lovely community members, and we're going to keep it open for the next week because a lot of people are working and they haven't gotten to the video. So it will be open until next, um, this coming Sunday. So for another week. But come to our Neuro Academy and, and, and yes. you'll have the course, uh, eight hours of videos, small chunks of videos, five minute to 10 minute videos about every little thing that you'll have the conversations on a weekly basis. Yes. You'll have the cooking sessions on a, a, a every other week basis and or so. The, yeah, we, we actually have a cooking session uh, scheduled for this Friday with the community. We're making some peanut satay skewers. With oh, some wow. Vegetables. So we'll, we'll, okay. we'll be happy to see you there. I love those sessions because the byproduct is for us. <laughs> I, I, myself and the kids eat well. That's what Alex so said please, the other day. I, I kind of see the audience sometimes with, yeah. with the, what I want to eat and say, you know, we ate this thing, amazing thing. And the audience says, oh, we want that. And then we, we end up eating it. Yeah. So, so it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Um, Carol Stevenson. Hey, Carol. Uh, here from Vancouver Island, I find it hard to settle on which habits to focus on. So many possibilities. Hey, that's a great question. Vancouver, like. are you kidding? I know what habit. It's the most beautiful place. This is Vancouver, Canada, I'm presuming. Yes, I believe uh, it's, so. It's the most beautiful place. Oh, it All, really is. Well, we were kind of lucky. Every time we went there, it was not raining. Yes. I know that it rains a lot there. Yes. But we biked through oh, Vancouver. There was a... Park. I forget the name of the park, but it was. It is the most wonderful. Heavenly. It was so. I mean, beautiful. we live in a gorgeous place on yeah. the beach in Redondo, but the variation of water, trees, forests, um, uh, trails. Do you need a clue? That's it. <laughs> oh, Vancouver is gorgeous. And, so, and then we took the airplane over here, yes. and we we're like tearing up. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. We it tear up amazing. a lot for tearing for joy. Yes, yeah. material for joy. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's beautiful. Exercise is a good place to start and then check it off, mark it as one of your foundations. And then once you do that, stack it with another behavior, bind it to another behavior, and we will join us. We'll talk about that. Absolutely. And then you can share Vancouver, uh, you know, your experience. People in our community share their experiences from yes. where they are as far as, you know, when they're walking with their, you know, with their uh, uh, GoPro. GoPro or with their camera, what they're doing. It's just gorgeous. It really just is. gorgeous. I love Vancouver. I would want to go there. Well, good luck to you, Carol. But yes, there are many possibilities. Uh, but start with the one that brings the most joy. The most joy. Derek is here. Hey, Derek, I understand it takes an average of 66 days to change a habit. Great question. Can you speak to how long it takes to change habits? Managing expectations is critical. Such a great question. So start with the last part. I love that. I, I, I tell people the secret to life, and that sounds so bombastic, but <laughs> the secret to life is management of expectations. Start with thyself. You know, know thyself, as the, as the sage says. Right. Uh, when um, Alexander the Great went um, on his quest, well, from his quest of taking over the world, he went to um, the oracle and, and, and says on the, there, know thyself. Um, know your what does that mean know your own expectations appropriately in fact that's where we start with the habits mm -hmm. usually when you come here we identify your expectations in a measurable manageable way start there 
And then depending on where you want to start your keystone habits, it's not 21 days, which is a popular thing. Last night, everybody was talking about 21 days or six. It depends on the thing. I can assure you giving up sugar is not 21 days. That's a drug. That's addictive. There's a reason why those companies keep adding sugar to everything. Right, right. Salt is not 21 days. It's the very foundation of everything. I mean, every cell in your body, the sodium potassium pump is in everything. The fact that there is 150 um, 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 microliters of uh, sodium in the cell um, versus 10 of potassium, the s- sodium runs every system in your body. You're, the mechanism of functioning your cells, your body needs sodium, but we've overdone it. That craving for sodium is being overexploited. That's not going to be given up in 21 days. Fat. Yeah. Fat is a survival food, not a thriving food. It has twice the energy as protein and sugar. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be given up in 21 days. So some of the things take longer. And by the way, it varies from person to person, your personal proclivities, your body's ability to process. We don't need to know your, uh, you know, C53, um, uh, three, uh, uh, gene or, or other, um, uh, enzymes in your body, uh, P450 enzyme in, in your liver or others. We don't have to get to that level of um, uh, personalization. We kind of know, you know, what is the thing that you like the most, that you crave the most? Are you a texture person, the solid, the meat eater that has difficulty with, with, the, with that, not having that texture? Or are you a sweet driven person? And we all are a little bit of both. And we build a behavior program around that and make sure you give yourself leeway. Mm-hmm. Make sure that if you can, takes you two months, give yourself three months to develop the habit before you move on. Right. In one year, it's plenty of time to completely restructure your habit network, Absolutely. your habit infrastructure, yes. which is basically the backbone machinery of your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. And imagine if you're doing that, if you take 12 habits, 15 habits, and you've changed them in one year, mm-hmm. it is incredibly powerful. There's right. nothing like that changing your whole life. Yes. That becomes the foundation of of how you interact. Your expectations change. Your expectation change. Your proclivities change. Right now, if I have sugary stuff, the cloying, uncomfortable feeling makes me run away from that. Mm-hmm. As opposed to that was the thing that I used to run to. Yes. It makes me run away from that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same. And, Same. and we we ate a lot of carbs, healthy carbs, but a lot of carbs when we were, when we were in Italy. Uh, you mean you mean just like white flour, yeah. uh, white bread, and white correct, pasta. Correct. Yeah, yeah, not unhealthy, so but lots fine. of carbs. We're I, I want to make sure that when we say carbohydrates, no, I said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> what was the thing that we craved coming back? Vegetables, greens. I never thought that I was. Remember, like, I remember you and I sitting in the car as soon as we got home. and said, do you want to go get some vegetables? <laughs> I never thought that that would be the case. When I was growing up in Pittsburgh, that sentence would not be even in my no. universe. <laughs> I crave <laughs> vegetables. Yes, yes. We we just sliced some carrots and tomatoes and some greens, greens. and made a fresh salad with some lemon dressing. dressing. Oh, just ate a huge bowl, and we were craving it. And we your whole system changes. Your expectation it. changes. Right. Your pers- your perspective changes. Your taste your taste is not taste. Mm-hmm. Taste is culture. Taste is habit. Taste is experience. Taste is this community and how you talk about it and you eat it together when you cook together. People cook with Aisha uh, while the, she's doing these sessions, and 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 I eat. I'm the I'm the visceral expression of her artistic <laughs> work. I'm the visceral expression of her artistic oh. work. Um, well, I, I give myself credit for nothing, but <laughs> but she is she's everything. Um, oh. But uh, so that's important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank beautiful. you for the beautiful Thank you question. Thank you so much. This is a great question. All right, Paula. Paula says, sugar is a big one for me. So is meat. Absolutely. Just because of the things that Dean uh, mentioned. Fat so and sugar. It does take time. And our brain is modeled that way where these foods are addictive. And we seek them during stressful situations. Uh, 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 to the meat thing. Yes. So we have not eaten meat for 17 years. Well, but, uh, close to 19, yeah. actually. Yeah. I would never have even imagined. A family, Even when we go back to um, East Coast, where my family is, for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving or something. And they now respect us and they yeah. actually prepare things. And we said, no, you don't have to. We, we, we do a lot of cooking ourselves. Yeah. yeah. But they, and on, on one occasion, I accidentally, they said this was, um, uh, you know, tofu and it wasn't. And I, I actually got a migraine, the beginnings of a migraine. I haven't had migraine for 
many, uh, uh, about 15 years it or so. It was horrible. Yeah. Uh, beginnings of it. And just that the, the, the coming of the migraine created such anxiety in me that, yeah. uh, that I think that's the only anxiety I've had in a while. <laughs> I remember. Because, uh, because I hated my, migraines when I had yeah. them. I, again, I don't bring that as a thing that um, eating a certain weight is going to get rid of migraines because that's an anecdote. It's a common one. We've written about cases and studies. But that that fear of that thing coming the way it was when I was younger, yeah. it was just overwhelming. It really is, yeah. Sugar one, uh, sugar was a big one for me too, uh, Paula, and it took me years. You know, it didn't take me 30 days or Whoa. 90 days. Yeah. It took me a year to completely get out of it yeah. because I would still have those cravings very strong waves of cravings where I would just go crazy for, you know, having a candy bar or something really, really sweet. And I've been able to manage that slowly and gradually by, you know, small little. And when she got I, that craving, I, I knew the look. Like she that. would look at me. She, I'm like, okay, I'm not a candy bar. I'm not Snickers. <laughs> I am not Snickers. <laughs> yeah. Get away from me. Yeah. I just need I know, Snickers. Yeah. No, but it it did it did really take a long time, and he was my support, just making sure that he reminded me about the promises and also no, the alternatives, of alternatives. Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, this is Paula again. She said, "How do we find out about these courses?" Ah, uh, Paula. So we are offering these courses in an environment like the Better Brain Health Challenge environment, where you can actually have conversations with community members. But then, if you're interested in learning more, the courses are going to be on the side and you can actually just click there and there's so many videos on nutrition exercise stress sleep optimize so the neuroplan course which is a comprehensive course is already there and we're launching the coaching course and the cooking course in the near Separate future courses. <clears throat> the cooking course is going to be launched in october the can coaching... i say something about the cooking yeah, course sure, sure. it's Unlike anything else, it's Aisha teaching not just cooking, not just the science, not just the tools, but how to actually make it tasty, but also make it part of your life and also become a coach for this. Right. Because we, our passion is you become coaches for others. And we wanted to make sure that it's not overwhelming. A lot of the cooking, coaching, nutrition courses are very heavy as far as uh, your achievements are concerned. We wanted to make sure that if you're one person living in an apartment, you know what to eat for one person and you don't want to spend more than 10 or 15 minutes in the kitchen preparing a meal. You have that option or you're someone who wants to cook for 20 people for Thanksgiving. You want to make a beautiful holiday meal that's available as well. So we kind of dived into the core of nutrition and eating and plans and made it available for you at your own convenience. So I'm I'm really proud of that. Uh, of course, amazing. I don't think there's anything like that anywhere else. And because having worked with populations and communities, we know what the shortcomings and the difficulties are. And we've, you know, happily, I can happily say that we've addressed them. So yeah. yeah. And, so and the and the coaching course is, or is about forty thousand words, small increments of how to change others, how to change yourself. It's coaching yourself, and for those who want to coach others. They have the choice of doing that and there's tools of how to coach others um, and certificate of coaching. All of that is going to be in that venue for this, you know, uh, um, there's no cost. Well, the getting in is the, 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 the community is the main thing. Yeah, well, we have to say we're really proud of the fact that we made it available, all this, you know, uh, information in a community so you can hang out with people and talk about the small little steps so say for example when we put a poll or a post it's going to be a content from that course and we'll just you know dissect it digest it learn about it and you have that option to go into the main library and learn more and take a deep dive and nerd out if you want to and then what happens is every uh, week there's a live session but all or a cooking session and then uh, every week a few times a week we send specific information about the topic of the month yes so starting always in, in June and with habits and then co going and building and building and building. And then we actually direct you to the course component that you can actually find this in. So, Absolutely. so uh, awesome. Wonderful. All right. Uh, Bijan has a question again. Uh, could you please let me know how I can contact you personally for a one to one consultation on how I can help my parents? I've read your books, but I'm stuck on creating processes that work without me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Dean actually mentioned about the Brain Health Institute that we're launching soon. You know, we'd be happy to do some consultation then. Cassandra will probably connect with yes, you. And, yes. um, uh, yeah. If you if you send us an email, we'll definitely make sure that we're we, we stay connected. But you can actually bring that conversation in the community as well. And if you want to have a chat, we can actually have yeah a on our running there as well so you know outside of the medical background we can actually have conversations with you about that and help you in any way we can all right carrie says i have implemented two important changes go to sleep 50 to 60 minutes earlier than i was so as to get better rest and two added two additional exercises to my bone building or pelvic floor exercise routine congratulations Beautiful. that's amazing Beautiful. See, that's specific yes that's measurable attainable sounds obviously. like it's attainable it's definitely relevant to your health and it's uh, time bound. I mean, you have made a, created a smart goal and you're following it. So congratulations. And on you've that. made it part of your life. It yes. should become part of your life. It should not be a contrived um, behavior that, that, that you've added. It should be a, almost like a stream of life. It's just part of, it's, it's almost like waking up from and getting up from bed, inculcated into the fabric of your existence. Absolutely. All right, somebody was private messaging me about the, the website. In any case, um, let's take Andrea's um, question here. Hello, um, what if we're introverted and don't like working with a larger community of people we don't really know? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so uh, that's always a challenge, introverted versus extroverted. Believe it or not, I know that it's, um, I'm, I'm somewhat of an introvert. Um, I'm, I always say at a party, I'm the best first 30 minute extrovert and then I'm 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 into my shell. <clears throat> introverts that doesn't mean that the introverts don't have to interact. It's in small bursts. And then they can actually listen to the community, learn from the community. And and it's the timeline and this then this the shape and the format. And so timeline, shape and format of how you interact. Because you want to make sure that you do gain from the things that a community has, the things that the world has, but according to your terms. Mm -hmm. So you can come in small bursts. Mm -hmm. That little bit of discomfort actually might be good. I always say that the greatest part of the leadership is comfort and discomfort. Now, for somebody who's extrovert, the discomfort is more protracted, but it should come to the point of discomfort, not, not discomfort, meaningless discomfort, a discomfort towards the direction of a goal where you wouldn't have gone otherwise, but it's in your direction, push yourself. Yeah. Same thing here. The introvert, complete isolation in a hermetic existence is not the answer. Coming in 20 minutes, 15 minutes, interacting, talking, or just listening. That's the first, desensitize. And that's your, um, the amount that you can take. And then the rest of the time, take the material, the courses are all on your own. Um, everything else is on your own. You can learn all of that and, and gain as much as possible. Yeah. Actually, that's a beautiful question because there are a lot of introverts. And then there's actually a series of um, commentary right after that question. Um, like, for example, Carrie says, how about taking uh, contrary action? Act as if you like working with a larger community. Correct. So just kind of pushing yourself. and then. But always at the edge of comfort because if it's too far, it might work temporarily but that level of dissonance is going to create a fight or flight thing. Mm. So definitely get yourself out of your comfort zone, but in the direction, meaningful direction of your, your goal. You are in control of your goals. You are in control of your vision. Vision is bigger than goal. Yeah. Vision is where you want to be you. In that direction, push yourself at the edge and always feel that little bit of discomfort. That discomfort is growth. That discomfort is the neurons pushing out like incredible Hulk <laughs> and way bigger, 30,000 connections. Right. That's the discomfort that pushes the brain, mm -hmm. but right at the edge. And you'll see that edge actually moves further. That edge moves further. And, um, and that's where the beauty of growth happens. Right. Absolutely. Thanks, Dean. I always learn. I always learn. It's it's a, such a good reminder in, I learned in my from mind. You. Um, good, yeah. uh, Carol says community encouragement is an interesting addition to the habit talk. Absolutely. If you look at the data, there, like I said, up to ten percent, some series fifteen percent success long term. The only thing that seems to work, and the only thing that sustains, is community based, group based, 
I'm, I'm not even group because group a bit community based where they go for a protracted period of time and then that becomes behavior that becomes culture so i say behavior habit behavior identity culture mm -hmm. culture is when language and thoughts and beliefs become ubiquitous in a community without you even working at it mm -hmm. that takes time yeah that's not the book of the week that's not the phrase of the week it's not the habit of the week although that's good but it's the culture component that must be Im Im imbued absolutely yeah a lot of loners here paula says she's a loner bindu says she's a loner too and believe it or not dean is a great extrovert for about 30 minutes in parties and then he just runs away and he wants to be with his thoughts and we usually find him with a book either sitting on a couch outside well you're nice or but where do you in the bathroom the bathroom <laughs> You're like, okay, waiting for him to get out of the bathroom. Are you in there? Yes. Um, it's okay, it's okay to be that. It's really yeah. okay. It's, yeah. it's great. I mean, I've done quite a bit of things in my life. I've given more talks than anybody. I mean, right. from, oh, from international levels. But it's that burst. I get myself ready. I, I prepare myself. I change the language in my mind from one of fear to one of excitement, you know, almost like... Um, um, for those, we're in LA, so uh, Kobe and Mamba mentality and this this energy of challenge. I'm changing the world. I'm, I'm making a difference. I'm here in this um, little blue dot, uh, one turn and the infinity of time, and I'm going to make a difference. And that little fear, I can take it for an hour. I can take it and, and stand there and, and give it all. I mean, all. And by the way, that helps because now when you put in that perspective, it almost becomes completely opening hmm. and and all fear is gone and then i go back to my my area of you know reading <laughs> absolutely beautiful okay m says um she loves the coaching sessions idea me and my brain are in yay m we'll see you you're going to be a part you're of the community you're going to be a coach you're going Amazing. to change communities lives your own families we love it Stay in touch with us because we're expanding this to the whole world. If you, know, you can actually be a brain health ambassador and a coach for your community, we'd be happy to give you all the resources. So part of what we do is the non-for-profit side. Yes. So when the coaches here, if they want to do things in their communities, we have people in, in Spain, in Germany, we have an yes. HMI, and, 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 and Spanish communities in general, we've started one. Um, uh, so yeah, we love to do that. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes. Let's calm down. Uh, <laughs> let's do this community thing here and build and build ourselves make ourselves better you teach us by the way part of this is yes they say you have more degrees than a thermostat it's meaningless we are as valuable as the meaningful valid information we bring to you today mm -hmm. so we expect you to challenge us yes challenge the data hold us accountable hold us accountable mm -hmm. because we're not like a lot of other people who yeah, we are the scientists. We are doing the review papers, whereas they're yeah. reviewing our review papers. We're writing, uh, we're writing the lifestyle book, the preeminent lifestyle book. Um, we have the neuro section of that yes. from Harvard. So, uh, but it means nothing. I really mean that. Hold us accountable in these conversations, um, and um, because data is king. Data is the thing that drives um, in this community. Data is the thing that drives behavior change. So we expect you to to be part of that data driven community. Beautiful, beautifully stated. Oh, I'm, I'm getting so many beautiful messages. Joshua says, um, thank you so much team chair as I intend to join the Neuro Academy. It'd be amazing and an honor to have you with us, Joshua. Thank you so much. I've grown so fond of our community members. Derek says cooking with Aisha would be worth it based on the eight club oh. session the other day. <laughs> we love you, Derek. Thank you. That means a lot to me because I am so passionate about cooking, she especially plant-based cooking and making sure that we deliver healthy and a delicious meal. That means a lot to me. I'd love to cook. cook she here. cooked uh, in, in Lodi this weekend. Oh, yeah, I did You that. saw a little clip of it in social media. I did that. You can see the passion. It wasn't cooking. <laughs> it was she. I, I, I mean, I love this good. person so much. But, we we uh, actually made a, a butternut squash chickpea curry. Oh. And uh, the Thai red sauce was so beautiful. And we didn't put any coconut milk in it, which has a lot of saturated fat. So we made a cashew cream. It was and it was served with a bed of brown rice with some greens. 
I always that should be food. that should be done with this community in a couple definitely. of weeks. In a few weeks, definitely, we'll put a vote for it, and we'll yeah, you see always vote for who what, can, yeah. yeah, who wants to cook, whatever. All right, <laughs> Kathy said, that I love you and your family. Thank you so much for who you are, your passion, love, and sharing. We love you, Kathy. Thank you so much, Joshua. We love you. All right, all right. So this is Bindu. Bindu says, do we get anyone? one-on-one -on -one consultation with a membership too. I'm not too comfortable with group discussions. Of course, um, the consultation, if you're talking about a medical consultation, we're creating a Brain Health Institute where we'd be happy to speak with you. But if you want to privately text us and chat with us, we're available anytime you yeah. want and we'd be more than happy to help you. I just wanna make sure that we you understand that we don't give medical advice on that platform, but if there is a general question about your health, we'd be able to give you resources in your area and help you. Did Correct. I say that appropriately? Absolutely. We don't want. We want to make sure we manage expectations, right. so people come in and they think that we're going to manage their medical condition in a in a platform like this. No. That's a bit dangerous, you yeah. know, Especially if it's not done in a in a controlled Control medical environment. And that's where BHI or Brain Health Institute comes in. So, um, but but as far as lifestyle. Oh, that's actually done. That's the whole point of the coaching anytime. component. Yeah. Yes. Anytime you can you can communicate with us directly. Thank in you. In that community. In that community. In the Neuro Academy community, which I have noted. All right, Andrea says, uh, what are some options for those of us who can't afford to join communities such as yours as much as we might want to? Can we do this on our own using your books as resources? You can. You can. Uh, but I, I tell you, the, the community component is important. The cost is, I mean, it's we, we went out of our way so some of the other people that are having course like $700 for just a course, which is basically a book in a video form, this is a dollar a day. It's for, $39. And for a month. You, if you get it annually. Yeah, it's, it comes to, uh, because we take out two months, and if you do it now, we take out three months, yeah, it comes to a dollar a day. We're giving you guys three months off just because, you know, we love you, we care, and we want you to be a part of it. So I don't think the cost is that great. It's less than a cup of coffee per day. Um, oh, it's one one fourth it, of a yeah. Starbucks coffee. Starbucks is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was talking about. I, that. I don't want to sound like commercial. I know it's not about that. To be, yeah, yeah. We would love to be connected with you, but you know, if you want to do it on your own, um, the, the book is helpful. The book um, is very helpful. Um, um, it it definitely touches on the neuro elements of the neuro, so you can actually get uh, get that information from there as well. All right, uh, Kathy. Ooh, Kathy says. Yes, come to Pacific Northwest. We would love to host you. Ah, I'm in Tacoma, Washington, but would we'll come to where you, uh, wherever you'd be around here. Hey, we go to Washington. My brothers actually live there, and one one of my brothers lives in Oregon, and my other brother lives in uh, Seattle, Washington. So we go there often. My brother who lives in Oregon is a linguist, and I'm so professor. proud of him. He's a professor of linguistics, and he has. He's been working on one of the Native American languages and he's revived it. There were only a few people who spoke that language and now hundreds and thousands of people speak yeah, it. Yeah, actually 4,000 people now speak it, which is yeah. amazing, beautiful. What a beautiful person too. Yeah, okay. so yeah. he works with a lot of individuals in the Pacific Northwest, so we often go visit him. And, we will and definitely see you there. We will probably see you there, Kathy. Thank you so much for the invite. We would love to come visit you and cook together maybe. All right, um, let's see. You are too funny, Barbara said. Well, okay, I'll reduce the funniness. <laughs> Derek says, too funny. tears of laughter from Dean's expressiveness. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll reduce, I'll reduce, I'll calibrate. <laughs> All right, Dana says, no, I love, I love your expressiveness. I had a big sugar problem and used dates to get off of sugar. Yes. Hey, that's a wonderful one, D Dana, yes. Date syrup helped me quite a bit. To get that sweetness. Date powder, right? Date syrup. So blended dates. Okay, it's with the fiber and everything. Oh, it's just like pulverized dates yes. with a little bit of water. Yeah. And it's this thick, dark, you know, syrup, and you can put it on pancakes and you can add it to your baked goods. It Beautiful. kind of darkens the color of your muffins, but who cares? It yeah. tastes it's just amazing. It tastes like caramel almost. All right, Andrea says. What are good subs for monk fruit if we can't eat it because of digestive issues? So monk fruit is a plant extract that is sweet. Um, a good substitute for that would be stevia or, you know, it depends on what you use it erythritol. for. Erythritol. Erythritol, yes. Yeah. So monk fruit and erythritol come together in yeah. most of the yeah. store-bought yeah. forms. And sometimes some people can have, you know, digestive issues like gas and bloating and things of that nature. So start taking some stevia and see if it works best for you. 
Um, not all sugar alcohols are bad because sometimes um, erythritol is better than xylitol. Uh, so so try, try different things and see which one works. And um, you know, when, if you're baking, you know, fruit pastes like apple, um, uh, you know, pulverized apple or banana or applesauce, I meant, are great substitutes as well. Um, okay, and, and uh, let's see, Derek says, habit <clears throat> infrastructure, that's a good one. In just over a year, we've decreased meat and increased plants. I didn't exercise now more than 90 kilometers last 30 days. Wow, that's incredible. amazing, that's amazing. That's a huge achievement, congratulations. Well, if you Maybe. guys ever end up in Redondo Beach, if we uh, we are thinking about uh, retreats, oh, yeah. there's a great bike path. Oh, I mean, talk about moments of epiphany. We might do that today. Yeah, a uh, bit from of Redondo to Santa Monica. Yeah, really, is the most gorgeous thing. We'll, whoever wants to come, we'll go uh, do biking, um, and it's it's a surreal experience. Absolutely. Pearl says whole food, plant based diets are naturally high in fiber, which provides satiety and helps sugar reduce sugar cravings. That is so true. Beautiful. If Beautiful. your stomach is stretched because of the volume of the food, you don't really crave sugar because it's almost as if your brain is telling you you haven't eaten much. Correct. But Correct. you do. If you do, you almost trick your brain to tell you you're good. You don't need more sugar. Amazing. All right. I know that it's past the hour, but I wanted to kind of address some of the core questions here. Dana says, are the courses included in the monthly fee Yes. or are they extra? No, the courses are included. There is no extra cost. So that's what you get course after course every three months. In fact, initially for the first two months, you get two, which is the nutrition course and, and the certificate and the, uh, where you can actually teach others. The neuro course, which is already there, eight hours with CME and C credits yes. for those who want it. It has been accredited. Yeah. Accredited by, by universities. <clears throat> and then the coaching course. And then every three months from there, other courses would be added in, even with things like headaches, the most common right. ailment out there. Parkinson's Body, disease. <clears throat> yes. Or um, 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 uh, attention deficit disorder. Agreed. We will talk about oh, anxiety. We already have a course ready for anxiety disorders so or excited. anxiety spectrum. All of this will be free as part of the fee. Dean has been working on the text of, of the anxiety course for over two years. It's been because... giving me anxiety. Just <laughs> that was no, bad. No. That was a dad joke. <laughs> dad joke you it's can dad's day forgive you're me, forgiven forgive me for that we'll yeah. forgive you for your dad jokes on father's day you're okay. allowed but it's it's really exciting because you don't really have to pay and extra to, so the money part we always feel uncomfortable but it's really i mean think about it each of those courses are eight hours five hours six hours all of those but all of this in one cost with the community with the tools and the only app i think it's a steal the only app that's been tested in communities the neuro app it's not like a little quick, it's, it takes a little time to get in there, especially the cognitive part yeah. where you actually get your scores as far as memory, attention, focus, all of that. And then you can follow it every month to see how you're doing. Absolutely. So it's, it's massive, massive amount. And you can take it in small increments, so don't get intimidated, or you can take it a lot because yeah. it's, it's just there for you to use. Absolutely. Um, do you become a certified coach after <clears throat> the course? Yes. The answer is yes. You, if, when you do the neuro course, you become a certified neuro coach. But if you want to do coaching, you can also do coaching course, which is separate. That, as I was saying, 40,000 words, um, hours of course, in small increments will be added in a couple of months. And it's because when you finish neuro, you'll do that for free. It will be added because we want you to do the neuro first, understand the core concept of how and why. And then the coaching component, which comes for those who are interested in coaching themselves, but most often coaching their children, their family, or coaching others. Yeah. They can even you know, become coach certified. We'll give them the tools and all of that. All of this is part of the cost. Amazing. Patricia says, what will certification allow you to do moving forward? All of that. You can actually just, first of all, let's take first layer. You will learn in-depth knowledge of everything you know about, you want to know about health. Because we think that if you know about brain health, you know about all health. All the other medical diseases, heart disease, GI disease, everything else require nutrition, exercise, sometimes exercise, it's usually nutrition, they have nutrition. They don't talk about stress management, that's our specialty. They don't talk about sleep, that's our specialty. In mm -hmm. fact, we've done, uh, so, and then mental activity. There's no mental activity or cognitive or habit component. That's been our background, my, my, I'm a behavioral neurologist. So all of that, plus what you would get otherwise, <clears throat> You can use it just for yourself, change your own life. And we think that's the first place to start. Then you can slowly inculcate it into your family's life. Or if you want to coach others, we help you become coaches. Mm -hmm. 
eventually what we want to do for those that truly want to be coaches, we can actually match people as coaches once they go through this, but as part of one co cost mm -hmm. with those who want to be coached. So we can even create that platform. It's a <clears throat> one stop environment. And the cost always goes back to the communities. Yeah. We spend the money back into the communities. We want to create an environment, a world <clears throat> where we can create this movement of brain health by training the coaches who will become coaches for others. Now, of, of the thousands of people that are going to do this, not everybody wants to become coaches. Mm -hmm. They want to help themselves. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. But even if we get 2% of people that want to become coaches, mm -hmm. imagine how much good we will do in the world. Absolutely. That's a main objective as well. Absolutely. Um, I want to take this one question because it's um, it's, a, it's a bit serious. Um, uh, Rallen21, if most of your life is just constant chaos and uncertainty out of your control, what <clears> would you <throat> recommend to do to protect my brain? Or is it too late for me in my late 60s? It's never too late. Never too late. It's never too late. And again, the concept of habits where you address one thing at a time and find some core behaviors that you need to change. Right, Dean? Absolutely. Beautifully stated. I always bring the concept of the, the hurricane, this circular chaos going at 150 miles an hour, you know, hurricane level five, let's say. And it's and a lot of our lives are like that. Yeah. Where do you start? You jump in anywhere, it takes you somewhere you don't even know because your emotions, that limbic system, that emotional brain. The key that we think we bring here in this community or how we do this is find the eye of the storm, mm -hmm. the beginning, the middle, the calm spot. And I I can't, because every it's not a one model fit all. Your calm center is different from another person's calm center. Mm -hmm. Find that calm center. Find that meaning, that purpose that might not even affect your survival right now, but it's the central thing, the important thing, the key thing that mean that gives you meaning and purpose and a structure to it as well. <clears throat> and build around that. The thing that you can do, that low hanging fruit, calm state that you can find and build around that. It seems like so little, it's not. There is no other way to, there is no other way to harness I said harness, not control, not destroy the hurricane, to harness the power of the hurricane. Mm -hmm. It's find that calm center, that one behavior, that one state of mind. And you remember behavior, the three things, behavior, thought, and emotion. It might be one of those. Find that central emotion. Mm -hmm. Find that central thought, belief. Find that central behavior one of those and start there mm -hmm. and then start building around that and then you pull in the hurricane because that hurricane is that power of a hundred you know 87 billion neurons mm -hmm. one quadrillion connections just going awry crazy energy thoughts behaviors language experiences pain suffering anxieties but those are all you harnessing those into the center. I know that this is a little um, much for this conversation, but uh, I, I appreciate that you shared that. And, and actually a lot of us in different degrees have hurricanes, mm -hmm. maybe not a grade five hurricane. So true. But so grade true. one hurricanes everywhere. Absolutely. You find the centers or find your center. Well, sending you lots of love. Rallin 21, I'm sorry if that's not your name. But thank you so much for that comment and question. Um, Paula was laughing on uh, at Barbara's comment, who said, "I am not a loner. Pandemics drove me nuts." Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm glad that it's over and you can reconnect with everybody else. Um, Rhonda says, "How long will the Neuro Academy be open to us?" A year. Um, oh no, no, it, it'd be a life life access. So uh, the the, uh, the the community itself, once you're a part of it, you'll have access to it. As far as the courses are concerned, we're actually going to renew them. Yeah, the, the courses are always going to be there when you're as, as, as the length of your uh, stay there. Yeah, yeah. So um, and then we're going to add courses and even the neuro course, we're going to every couple of years, we're going to redo it because with the new information and the new us, yes, hopefully better looking us. <laughs> 
I, I, well, she can't be any I better don't. looking. Hopefully, no, no. Yeah, we'll do something about me. I'll try my best. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of pressure. Right no, there. You, you, yeah, I'll try yeah. to look better. You're, you're, uh, pressure is pressure. You got the looks and the brain, so, <laughs> so kind of I'm you. here occupying. Space. Oh, uh, thank you. All right, so yes, yeah, so it, it'll be a perpetual thing. And then there was another question. Uh, lots of love. Thank you so much uh, about the structure. They're saying, what if you're not interested in coaching? Um, yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the information is, is out there. Like I said, it's one of the courses is coaching. The others are neuro. The other one is cooking uh, course. The, there will be courses on uh, a, you know anxiety, courses on stress management, courses on uh, you know uh, PTSD later on. Yeah. Um, because we're going to do it once every three months after after the first three sleep and sleep disorders sleep whether it's sleep. restless leg syndrome yeah. sleep apnea um some, you know, almost, run disorders almost every neurological disease or psychological disease that you can think of attention deficit right Absolutely. that's a common one yeah so you can just use it for yourself in fact most people will probably use it for themselves absolutely um marilyn says can i switch my monthly membership to annual yes you know uh we were talking to some of our friends who are helping us put the structure together and they have they suggested that it would be a great idea to take three months off of the cost of the annual membership. So if you join, and we've only provided this for you all for the Better Brain Health Challenge community, three months off if you want to go annual. So yes, that option is there as well. Um, let's which which would make it a dollar a day. Uh, yes, yes. Joshua says date syrup is very popular here. He's from Israel. It looks like date sugar, which is ground dried whole dates is better. Oh, I love that. I love that very much. When we were in Israel, oh my goodness. We had so many. There was this wonderful almond cookie that was baked with a date syrup. <clears throat> it was probably one of the most delicious things I've ever had. I really thought there was caramel in it. But they said no it was just dates it was, was just beautifully baked for a long time maybe 20 minutes what a great experience it was a great experience we yeah those I mean, almond cookies were were, that was an incredible trip that the kids had multiple countries and we were so honored by by the minister of health coming oh he was in such several a countries actually so person. it was just beautiful <laughs> all right perfect all right um Barbara says, no, don't reduce the funny. It's it's you. I really love it, Dean, the both of you. We love you too, Barbara. Thank you so much. Um, all of the topics are so um, amazing here, but I'm actually just going to choose a couple because we're at one hour and 16 minutes. <laughs> 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 we want to make sure that- Yeah, for people who are not here, they see the time, they're going to be intimidated. Yes, so. yes. All right, uh, Parole um, uh, is saying, excited about training to be a coach. I'm a registered dietitian, but have yes. been wanting to add these other aspects of lifestyle changes to help others. I, I, I'm Neuro vouching for that. Dean, Dean, that's his background, neurobehavior and habit formation and coaching. And you know, he, can I, I'm going to brag about my husband now. He, he always brags about me. You know, his PhD is in healthcare leadership, and he's actually, you know, helped people understand the basics of coaching and how to compel people to live a healthy life and take care of themselves. So I think I think you're going to like it a lot. You know, I I use that in my field as a neurologist in the communities, um, and I think it's just this added benefit where you understand how the human mind works and how they assimilate information when you provide them. Um, all right, Dana says, I am in. Can I sign up now? Yes, absolutely, you can. I appreciate all that you do for the community with much appreciation. Thank you so much, Dana. Thank That's you. very kind of you. Yes, it's it's actually open, and I did put in the um, the website. It's called neuroacademy.com. It's there in the comment section. So if you click on it, it gives you an overview of what is being offered. And the good thing is, since you all are on the Mighty Network platform, all you have to do is just add. You don't have to you know, create a new username or uh, a password. It's a really easy switch to go from one platform to another. We will keep this Better Brain Health Challenge community open for until Sunday so that, you know, everybody starts, Next Sunday, right? Yes. Uh, not this <clears throat> Sunday, so another, you know, seven days so that people can watch the videos and um, transition. Now, we didn't want to be abrupt and disrespectful and cut off although we were going to do that, but we thought it would be important for people to have access to it. So if you have any questions, please let us know. We'd be more than happy to help you. This coming week, we'll be in DC. We're so, so, so proud. Uh, Sophie will be singing in the mall and, and uh, Kennedy Center and um, uh, with Yo-Yo Ma. Oh my goodness. I, I, I tear up every time I say that. Yes. And so we'll 
provide some of the pictures and uh, yeah, we maybe, can. well, I and promised I promised our uh, Neuro Academy community that I would put up their video. So yes. maybe we can actually put put uh, some recording of their songs. Amazing! Oh, this is funny. Uh, I have to show this. You admire um, each other so much. You're like the Dank and Dabby of Neuro. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, she is my life. Oh, thank you. And you're mine. Thank you. I'm so blessed to, to be in this situation. Carrie says, is the membership renewed each year, you mean? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, membership fee is for access for one year? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, you can do it year. monthly as well. Um, but uh, if you do it yearly now, you get three months off. Absolutely. Derek says, Eye of the Hurricane, great analogy, find your center. It makes me think of Eye of the Tiger, which is another song to get moving to. I was listening to that this weekend, I, and, and my kids were making fun of me. I was at the gym. Well, whenever we go on a long drive, Derek, that's the song that comes on blasting off because he just kind well, of well, feels The other one is good. by Phil like, Collins. I, which one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Phil Collins... Um, in the air tonight. In the air tonight, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm aging songs. myself. I know I'm aging. Miami Vice, I know. I'm sorry. No, but guess what? We actually we have that on our Amazon Alexa. Yes. Because today's Father's Day and we're playing Dean's favorite song. Yeah, <laughs> so I have the Tiger and Phil Collins in the air tonight. Those are Dean's songs. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, uh, all right, let's see. Uh, thank you so much for the challenge. Patricia says, I will strongly consider joining. Um, and this community, this will also save me time searching for accurate information. Absolutely. So one of the things that you will get is because Dean and I are neurologists and researchers, we will make sure that whatever podcast, whatever post we have is based on accurate information about the latest science on brain health. There's a lot of noise, as you may all know. Yeah. And yeah. we want to make sure that we bring you the most accurate evidence. Citations on everything. Yeah. Citations, not just one citation, because you can cherry pick papers that came from, you know, God knows where, but, but um, citations on, on everything. There is a page that we've created. I think um, there were all the, you, know, you can pick, find the topic and then the, the, the papers associated with it. Uh, we have that or it's coming up um, the, the citation page. Well, we will put uh, yeah, it very soon, research actually uh, hundreds of papers on, on every topic that, that you can, if, if those, those people who, who want to see it, if you don't, that's fine. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, another question uh, is, uh, this is really exciting, is a coaching course a self-paced study or via Zoom? It's a self-paced study, so there are um, videos that you can watch, there's downloadable material that you can download, take it at your own time, there's really no deadline to it, but then there are these live sessions with Dean about uh, each section that are going to be recorded and the replays yeah. will be there. By the way, the coaching course will start in a couple of months, in two months exactly, before that is the cooking course right and the coaching and we are giving the coaching time we've said this for a while because we want people to do the neuro course the neuro plan neuro plan course yeah. the, and basics. Then the, the basics and yeah. then the coaching for those who are interested and people who don't want to do it they don't have to do it Absolutely. and there's no cost to it and then once we start the coaching course then there'll be monthly q and a's around the coaching because we want to make sure that it's not just material it's not just downloadable you can even get download enough things to create your own booklets you can use but but you you also have somebody you can go to on a regular basis to answer co uh, questions. Absolutely. All right. Well, that was it. Wow. I, I need to let you guys go. And we have to go take care of the children as well. It was so wonderful hanging out with you all this week. Um, hopefully, we will see you in the Neuro Academy platform. So this is not a big goodbye. This is probably a small goodbye. We'll be in touch with you. Thank you so much for your kind comments. It really does not go unnoticed. We read each and every comment, even if we don't have time to answer all of them. We've felt so much love, so much connection with you all. This has been such an amazing uh, opportunity for us to disperse something that we're very passionate about, which is brain health in a loving, understanding community. Brain diseases are devastating, and there's so much we can do about it. We saw our loved ones, our grandfather suffer from it, and we don't want that to happen to anyone. And so we're going to make ourselves available and connect with you all in a wonderful community. Let's change the world together. It's a short life. Let's do the best we can to be ambassadors of the best news, of Absolutely. health, of wellness, of empowerment. Love you all. all right. We love you all very much. Have a wonderful day and hope to see you in Neuro Academy. Bye.